Hello, this is Katie O'Regan. I'm with the Star City Film Festival, and I'm here in beautiful Sheboygan. And we're here to talk about our film festival, which is coming up November 10th through the 12th at the Blue Harbor Resort. We have 33 entries in our film festival this season. This is our sixth season. Our sixth season, and it's going to be the best it's ever been. I don't know if you haven't been at the Blue Harbor Resort inside, but it's gorgeous. And the filmmakers are coming. They're gorgeous, too. We have a lineup of a three-day event starting at 6 o'clock on Friday night. We have live script readings from people who have scripts who entered into the Star City Film Festival that were chosen. And we have actors that are going to tell their stories. We have films that are chosen, and we have talkbacks with our amazing directors. We also have a very special guest here. Her name is Lacey. She's at the Lacey Awards. She's our little corgi. You'll see her in a little bit. That's her barking. Nice job, Lace. Saturday all day at the film festival, we have two different screening places to see films. So there simultaneously will be uh, films going on. And there's a schedule, and you can look at my company, which is called Sacred Noise Society. SacredNoiseSociety.org is my producing company. I've had it for many, many years. It's my great privilege to present to you, our filmmakers. We are a nonprofit organization. We appreciate our sponsor this year, and her name is Trisha Bros, the best realtor in town. Look her up. Now, we're going to talk to two wonderful women who drove all the way from Chicago to be with us today. They have a film that is chosen, and I'm going to let them introduce their very film. We have the director and the producer. I really, really um, feel honored to, to give voice to, to female directors and female writers and people that are from the area. We have Bethany Berg, who is here, who lived in Sheboygan for a very long time, so she's a local. Very interesting. Bethany, it's so nice to have you. Nice to be here. Thank you. Yes. Tell us the name of your film. So the film is called Everything Fun You Could Possibly Do in Alito, Illinois. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And we have the wonderful producer. Tell us your name. Christina Shaver. Christina, yes. welcome. Thank you, thank you. We're really excited to be here and really excited to be part of the Film Fest this year. How did you, how did you come up with the idea for your film? Um, I actually, my family is from Alito, Illinois. My dad's side of the family is from Alito and lived there for generations and farmed out there and worked out there. And um, over the years, we've kind of all moved away. And I was like, I haven't been to Alito in so long, and I really don't have a reason to, because my family's pretty much left there now. And so I was like, I should make a movie there. And, and Alito is a small town, 5,000 people. How many people? 2,700, 3,700. 2,700 people, folks. Yes. There you go. Small. And they made a movie there. Now, Susie Bogus is also. Yes. Am I saying her name yes, right? Susie yes, Susie Bogus. That's Susie correct. Susie Bogus is the she's a well-known country singer. She's amazing, and oh my God, the soundtrack to your movie is beautiful yes. because she sings the soundtrack, and it's seamlessly integrated into the script. Was was just genius, by the way. Yeah, Writer that's all director. Bethany. That's all Bethany. Thanks. Bethany, well done. <laughs> Thanks. Yes. That, it's, and it, Susie. I mean, <laughs> yes, and Susie. And Susie. She's yeah. a great singer. We need to. We need to. Lacey, you're, you're a singer too, aren't you? <laughs> we need to get Susie to come up to visit. That would be oh, great. Oh, that would be great. Yeah. Yes. So your film is how long? It's a little over an hour, correct? Mm -hmm. Just yeah. right around that hour mark. So yeah. it's considered a feature film mm -hmm. because it's over an hour. Yeah. It's, an, it's not a documentary. It's very well acted. Isn't the woman who's uh, one of the lead actresses, isn't she with Annoyance Theater? Mm -hmm. Yes. Is that correct? So Jennifer Eslin is the owner, actually, of the Annoyance Theater with her husband. She's fantastic, by yeah. the way. She's, she's hilariously great. funny. She's yeah. so good. She's Shout really out good. to Annoyance Theater. <laughs> yeah, she's really great. And Sarah Savini um, stars across from her, yeah. also a lovely, lovely actor. Um, she is yeah, lovely, she's yes. really great, yes. I really yes. enjoyed your film. It's mm -hmm. going to, uh, you hear Lacey whooping in the background, <laughs> so she's just, she's agreeing with, come here. Um, so, so what was the most interesting thing about writing? You wrote this together, which is fascinating. You we just wrote woke it up together. and you're like, hi, let's write a film. We wrote it together, but we actually had another person who wrote the story. Um, her name's Gina DeAngelis, and she is a really wonderful writer as well. And so she served up the story, and... Yeah. Yeah, I think the most interesting part was we, you know, we had the story and um, we, you know, 
made a few tweaks for production and, you know, added Susie's songs in it. Yeah. And um, added some dialogue as well and, you know, changed some stuff as well just based off casting. Mm -hmm. um, and I was talking to some people recently about the process. And my favorite part was when Christina locked me in a room and she <laughs> yes. said, write a scene now. Christina, then... <laughs> you're a torture woman. I'm a torture <laughs> woman. I'm a torture it. woman. And then, and then she was water, like, water only That's after right. a few, uh, one page, right. you get water after she gave a page. Me water. That is, and that she is would funny. look up and she would say, it took you an hour to write that. <laughs> yes. So it'll take us this amount of time to yes, do that. Yes, I did do that. Great. I did that calculate that. But then we, we, we wrote the story together. Mm -hmm. It was very collaborative. And, you know, we both are from, went to school at the Second City of Chicago, um, where we learned a lot about comedy and yeah. um, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it was. I didn't know that about you with Second yeah. City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got to work in Door County in American Folklore Theater, and I got to also work with the son of the woman who started Second City. Oh, wow, yeah. amazing. It was, it was amazing, so what a yeah. great training. So yeah. I, I yeah. didn't know, I didn't know great. we had it is really great. Mm -hmm. that calm, yeah. that, that's really yes. wonderful. Yeah. So, and I could tell in your movie's very funny. Yeah, <laughs> well that's all it. Bethany. <laughs> so it's gonna be Friday night, Friday night, mm -hmm. uh, we put you in the slot for Friday night because they, you have a, you have another uh, engagement on Saturday night. Yes, yes. yes. Yep. What do we have? Oh, I think we're just hanging out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you, uh, they're just hanging out. You guys, that's not funny. We're doing it. We'll so you it. can come see their, their film uh, at uh, Friday night. And, uh, and then we're going to do a little talk back again. Yes. Um, but I, I wish you luck. I uh, would have a couple you. of judges who are judging the best films. Ooh. God, don't be well, mean. I'm not mean. I, la I chose your films, so I think they're <laughs> wonderful. Well, you already won an award in my well, mind. Well, if they so. want any water, I yeah. know how to drive. Christina is the one who gives it out. Christina, <laughs> really. Yes. Yeah. So Friday night, uh, please come see uh, their, their wonderful film and, and, and cheer them on. And uh, you're going to see a clip from, from your film. Yes. And... Um, the rest is a secret. You have to come to the festival. Go to sacrednoisesociety.org. Thank you, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. We're again. so happy to do yes. this. Thank you. Yes. Oh, it's cold. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's cold. You gotta commit. Okay, okay. okay. I'm committing. Okay, we're committing. Okay. <laughs> oh, fancy. <laughs> nice. Oh, let's live here now. Okay, we live in the home. Okay. No, oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the cops. <laughs> We're back with another very special filmmaker. He's not only from Sheboygan, he made a movie called Sheboygan Who Knew, and he was in our first film festival. We did a one-day film festival during the Ryder Cup in Sheboygan at the Stephanie H. Well Center, and I chose his film, and it was wonderful. Gabe, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Gabe Leistico. I'm a local filmmaker here, and uh, I'm happy to be a part of this. Yeah. So, Gabe, your second film is called Fuzz, and you, you're a senior at UW at the, at, and, in film school, correct? Mm hmm Are you excited to graduate? Are you, are you not excited to graduate? It's, it's definitely a mix of emotions. It's, um, you know, what I've been doing for the past three years and just all the people that I've met and experiences I've gotten to have making mm -hmm. all these short films for class, you know, I'm definitely going to miss it in that sense, but I'm also very much looking forward to, to moving on and uh, working on some bigger things and, uh, yeah. So we're showing both of your films. We're show, showing Sheboygan Who Knew as a remake because uh, Gabe is in, he, he plays an, as an actor in it and he does the voiceover and it's kind of a tongue-in-cheek look at Sheboygan. Um, growing up in Sheboygan, and it's a really fun, short, very short, what is it, five minutes? Yeah. Film, perhaps, yeah. yeah. And uh, Fuzz, his second film that we're premiering here at uh, this festival, is a very uh, introspective, completely opposite than, from his first film. So congratulations on having uh, two films that are completely different in shorts. I think that shows a lot about who you are and your range and, and your growth. So I, I talked to you before about this, but tell us a little bit of how you came up with Fuzz. It's an animated film. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with Fuzz, um, I really just started with, uh, with the visuals of it. I really wanted to just make these striking visuals, and then the story kind of came about after that, and I found a way to connect them all. Um, and then, yeah, just kind of coming up with a story about uh, what I wanted to, it to center around in terms of themes and... Um, yeah, a lot of it, like you said, is introspective. It's mm -hmm. about taking a look within and getting lost and also find a way to overcome things yeah. within yourself. 
Finding so. a way to overcome things within yourself. It's such a, such a needed theme in the world, and I thought it was really cool. I was, I'm really proud of you, not that I have any credit for it, but I love to, sh to showcase your films. And um, I think you have a, a great career in, in film because you have, you know, what it takes to do in, in this business is um, it's tenacity and attitude and, and, and hope and faith in nothing because there's no way to get to be in the movie industry. You just have to keep on doing it because there's no film that's made the same way or no, mm -hmm. no thing that's cast the same way. Exactly. Yeah. No film festival is the same way. Yeah. So, and a lot of it too is just you know hanging on to those those amazing people you meet along the way. You know? Yeah. Even even the characters, you know, that's the best part about this industry and like me choosing this career path is just meet some of the most amazingly weird and cool people in the best yeah. kind of ways. In the best kind of ways, yeah. We creative types were a little odd, aren't we? <laughs> it takes all of us, and that's why at the Star City Film Festival we embrace all all things. We have live music, we have live script readings, we have, of course, our wonderful filmmakers mm -hmm. and all the films. Uh, but we also have a, a little girl named Lacey who's sitting on the floor. Lacey, she's our, she's our mascot. We have the Lacey Awards. And it's going to be a, a really wonderful time. So please come down to the Lacey Awards and to see Gabe's film. And we're going to have a talk back with the audience as well. Awesome. Anything else you'd like to talk about your film? Um, no, I... Uh Thank you guys for watching and definitely uh, come out and see it. We've got some great stuff lined up for you. Yeah. another special guest for the Star City Film Festival. She and I have an interesting history. We were in a show together called Art Pods that we actually toured in Wisconsin. She's a phenomenal dancer. She's a wonderful human being, and she's a wonderful teacher. Her name is Kayla Shedder. Kayla, welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Katie. Kayla's here with uh, uh, two of her students yes. who are wonderful performers, very special guests. We actually get to have an amazing dance performance with these lovely women at the Star City Film Festival on the, on the red carpet night. So we're doing a very um, meaningful song to me. It's in my movie called Painting Jane, and the, and the song is called Sacred Noise. And it's a song I sing and I, and I wrote, and they are going to choreograph a dance to it, which has never been seen before. And um, that's it. It's going to be really exciting. You should come just for that. So Kayla has core connections. It's right on 8th Avenue in Sheboygan. She's a remarkable athlete. She's a remarkable person, healer. You're, you're, you're a therapist and an amazing dancer. And, and Lacey agrees. Lacey's she on the floor agreeing. <laughs> Kayla, tell us about your, your business and your company. Absolutely, yes. So like Katie said, um, we're on A Street, Ren Sheboygan here. I have a Pilates dance and acro space. So we have machines and we do classes and um, Adelaide and Sophia are my students that have been with me since the start. So I opened back in 2018, and they have really stuck with it and progressed tremendously over the last couple of years. And when we get these opportunities to perform and collaborate with the community, we really want to be a part of that. And we're very lucky to be able to do these type of things and to work with other artists in the, in the area. And yeah, so the, the dance program is very small and we, we just perform as the opportunities arise. So your last name, Adelaide's last name, I know oh. we don't have the mic on, but. Yeah. Milne. Yes, thank you, Adelaide, mm -hmm. for, for doing this. We're very excited. Sophia Yerk. Sophia Yerk. Are you excited to perform at the festival? Yeah, <laughs> wonderful. I can't wait to see it. We have auditions um, for additional people on, at Kayla's studio, Core Connections, at one o'clock on this Saturday. So if you're out there and you really, really, really want to perform, 
uh, I, I really would love to work with you too, so just let us know, just in case. It's a big world and we welcome everyone, right? Absolutely. Right, Lacey? We do. <laughs> so um, I'm, just very, I'm just very excited about the Lacey Awards and she's like done with the camera right at the moment. And Lacey, why don't you go down Aww. here? So we also, um, I, I was talking to Kayla about our special guests that are coming to the Star City Film Festival. We have the amazing oh. stars of Days of Our Lives, Teo Penglis and Steve Blackwood, who were on, Teo has been on Days of Our Lives for 40 years, and he's coming to be our guest of honor, which is really cool. And Steve Blackwood and he worked for 10 years on Days of Our Lives together. So they were, they were I mean, like they have a cult following, and we get to hang out with them, and they get to come and encourage us, and I, I invite you all to come to the Star City Film Festival on the red carpet, and we also have a workshop. So if you're an actor or a dancer or a singer and you want to come to see what it's like to work with the pros, they're going to give us a pro workshop on Sunday, November 10th. November 10th starts on November 12th. Excuse me, <laughs> November 12th. Our workshop starts November 12th at 1 o'clock. And you can sign up on the website, which is sacrednoisesociety.org. And uh, you can come and hang out with us. Once again, this is, this is Kayla Shetter. She has core connections. I encourage you to, to come be a part of Pilates classes. Yeah, Pilates, dance, acro. The Pilates, dance, and acro. Mm -hmm. And you guys have been with Kayla since 2018? Wow. She's pretty cool, isn't she? Well, I, um, when I was putting together this festival, this, once again, this is our sixth season of our festival, um, I thought, I really want a very special red carpet, and I want to include all the arts, and I want dance. And, and Kayla, is, you were the first person I thought of, because I love working with oh, you, yeah, so it's good and time. you're extremely talented, and I can see why you guys stick with Kayla, because she's, a, she's an amazing teacher, and a killer performer, by the way. <laughs> so there you go. We're really a very, um, I should, I'm speaking for myself, but I'm really grateful to, to be here at this wonderful television station. It's, a, it's an Something that most people don't um, understand that this has been going for many, many years and it's publicly funded. And these two gentlemen that are here, Scott Mileff and our wonderful camera guy, hi, he's awesome. Um, they do this um, and they're very consistent and we thank you very much. Um, I'm going to uh, uh, have Painting Jane, my feature film, be uh, on this channel. We're going to do it for, for free for the public. Um, I want to give that back because there's lots of people. It's on Amazon right now, my feature. Um, but I want people in Sheboygan to be able to see it. It's an hour 35. I'm really proud of it. We shot a lot of it here. And um, we're going to also show it at the film festival. But I want you to stay tuned to this channel so you can see when we're going to, when we're going to for free. So you don't have to buy it on Amazon for $2.99 to rent it or for $9.99 to buy it. But you should buy it for $9.99 <laughs> to buy it. Painting Jane by Katie O'Regan. <laughs> Where's Lacey? Oh, she's upstairs. Oh. My heart's racing. I can't breathe. Ugh. Lou, Lou. Huh. Life's not fair. <laughs> you okay? We're both fine. That we need a plan B and a plan. Now I have to keep going, okay? Okay, everything is fine. Everything sit down.
Thank you so much. I love you, Sheboygan. Come to the Star City Film Festival. Come watch these beautiful ladies dance. I'm going to sing. I'm going to do some a live a script reading. And there's some killer, killer short films. So if you know of anyone who, who doesn't um, have the means to buy a ticket, you can also email me. I'm always uh, willing to welcome volunteers who really want to show up and be a part of it. So love you, Sheboygan. Bye. This is Katie O'Regan from the Star City Film Festival signing off. Thank you.